this series of videos, we're going to be making a 3D model of a mousetrap for use in your mousetrap cars. We'll be using Onshape, and we're going to start off by creating a new project. It's going to be called Mousetrap Car. And the first part we're going to be working on, we're going to rename this to be Mouse Trap Body. This is going to be the piece of wood that is our mouse trap. So I'm going to start a sketch on the top surface. And I'm going to start with a center point rectangle on the origin and drag it out. I'm going to change my view so I'm looking down on this. And based on the mentions I took last time, this car is going to be 1.92 by 3.877. I'm now going to take and uh, back to a 3D view, and I'm going to take and extrude this to be 0.236 high. I don't know what happened. Is there a zoom? So I'm going to go back to the isometric. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to change the appearance of this to make it more wood like. The easiest way to do that is to click the appearance. I can then click the color blob. And I can click on the current color changer. And I'm going to pick sort of a brownish color. I'm going to go to mixer and I'm going to go like, I don't know, that looks kind of wood colored. I'm going to click on the thing, hit custom color, and I'm going to close it. There we go. Now I have the base of the mousetrap. The next step is I'm going to put some holes in the top of my mousetrap. So I'm going to start a sketch on the top surface. I'm going to look at the top, and then I'm going to draw four holes I don't really care exactly where they go so I drew my four holes these are the holes that my u-bolts for my mousetrap go into so the first step is I'm going to set them all to be equal to each other using the equal constraint So all four are equal. I'm then going to use my horizontal and vertical constraints to make these line up with each other. And my vertical constraints to make sure the left and right side are lined up. Now it's time to dimension stuff. So the first dimension I know I have is the overall dimension of these posts are Point oh five three, and then from the outside edge, they are point one nine six. So we're going to dimension from this outside edge to the outside of this point one nine six. And from this outside edge is also the same amount. And I have to just type in 0.196 again. Now I need to position them from end to end. So from this end of the mousetrap to this circle is 0 0.1603, or sorry, one, 1. 
1.603. That looks more like it. And between the two pegs, the distance is going to be 0 .1, 0 .140. 0 .140. If those are all black, which they are now, I can now cut them through. Notice it is not centered on the mousetrap. That's fine. That's how it really is. One click extrude. I'm going to select the four features. I'm going to go to isometric view so I can see what I'm doing. And we want to make those remove through all. There it goes. Apparently, they didn't select the first time. Hit check. And now I have the base of my mousetrap. 